Hey guys, this is Ashank David. Welcome to our channel Code is Arcade. Today we are going to understand how we can install Docker into our Windows 11 system and what are the requirements which are necessary for you to work with Docker into Windows 11. Let's understand all the all about that today. Uh, before I start with this video, I would just like to request you people to please like, share and subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. Now let's begin. Uh, before I go ahead into anything else, I would just like to bring up this uh, system requirements part. So there are some different system requirements. If you want, you can check the system requirements. These are the system requirements and for both Hyper-V backend and Windows container as well as WSL um, to backend. So these are the uh, system requirements that we will be uh, seeing. For me, for my computer, it's perfectly fine. We will be installing uh, smoothly in our system. For your system, these are this is the system requirement. Well, if you want, I'll give the link of the website of this particular website of this particular page into our description below and uh, we can start working from there. So here, if you want to download, first of all, Docker, you need to go to your Docker homepage. So you can just uh, go on search for or search on google for docker.com and here this website will open up so when this website opens up you can see that uh, here there are a lot of things here you want only docker desktop this is how your basically the home web page looks like for docker.com uh, what we are going to do is we are going to download docker desktop and to download that we need to go to products so we'll just hover a mouse over this product and i'm gonna, just gonna click on to docker desktop uh, one thing I would like to tell you guys that right now at the time of recording of this video so it's recently it's uh, 2024 and uh, here the website looks like this in future this uh, the the way the website looks might change so there are steps will be a little bit changed but here as of now as of creating as of that the time of creating of this video right now it is uh, looking like this so you can just click on to this option here docker desktop i'll just click on to this docker desktop and you can see that um here we'll get to this page now once you are onto this page you make sure you have an account here for docker and if you don't have an account before downloading anything you first create an account here so i am going to create an account i'll just click on to create an account and as soon as you click on to create an account uh, this um, layout opens up where you can just give your email address username and password we can choose a new one or you can just continue with google whatever it is and you need to click on to this check and then you need to click on to this sign up so it's very simple so you can do this process once you have done this process then you can download this uh, for windows okay so let us finish up that first quickly first so now once you have the docker um, account here you can just click on to the sign in here and uh, it will just allow you to sign in so once you are onto this particular thing you can just click on to this download for windows all if you have mac or linux you can download it from here just by clicking on to this icon here for mac or on the linux you can just download it for mac or linux but if you have windows so basically we are doing for windows 11 today so let's just download let us click on to this so once I click onto this, now it will ask me where I need to download it. So I'm going to save it on my desktop as of now. So I'm going to click on to save and uh, it's getting downloaded. So now it is a big file, a little bit big file. You can see it's 489 MBs at the time of creation of this uh, video. It is right now 489 MBs, but the size may depend uh, now vary. It may depend on the time when you are downloading or whenever you are using it. It depends upon when you are downloading it. Okay, guys. So now my Docker has been downloaded. So now before I go ahead and touch this downloaded file, I need to check if my WSL is enabled in my Windows 11 or not. And to check that, it is very simple. You can just click on to this search icon right here. And you can write turn Windows feature on or off. Okay, so turn Windows feature on and off and just have to type this off. Turn Windows feature on and off and you will get this option here. You can just click onto this option and it will open up this small dialog box right away here. Okay, and in this dialog box, you need to just check for, you can just um, scroll down a little bit and here you need to check for two things. First is this one, Windows Hypervision platform 
So I'm going to click on to this, enable this off. And I'm going to click on to another one, which is Windows subsystem for Linux. This is WSL. I'm going to enable this off. So here two things I've enabled. That is Windows hypervisor platform and Windows subsystem for Linux. So these two files I need to enable. These two features I need to enable. And then I'm going to click on to OK. So as soon as I click on to OK, it will search for the required files. And now your uh, WSL will be enabled into your system. Before I get into Docker, you need to do this first. Because if WSL is not properly activated, then uh, it will become a problem for you later on. Now it is asking us to restart the system now. You, It's better you can restart it right now. Let's do restart right away. And we are back after downloading and restarting. So now let us check again. I'm going to open up CMD. And here I am going to write WSL hyphen hyphen status. As soon as you say this, you can see that it, now it's uh, enabled into our system. So as soon as I restarted my system, it, it, it enabled it. And here you can see the default version coming up as a 2. Please enable the virtual machine platform Windows feature. So okay, so that is a different thing. And now if I want, I can just uh, run another command just to check if uh, the, the things are fine. In this case, if I want to update, I can just say WSL, I can say dash uh, hyphen hyphen update. And it will allow me to do the update. You can, you can just click on to yes and you can see that it will download the latest uh, update for it also and it will update it for whatever. If you want, you can update it like this. Okay. So once it will be done, um, you can check for the status again and you can change the things here from from uh, here basically so this is your wsl working and once your update is done you can go ahead and check the status again where uh, you will see different kind of versions basically by default version 2 will be installed here because in the if you see in the checking part also in the system requirements also we said that we need wsl version 1 or later Okay, so in this case, our ours is uh, two, and uh, it will work fine. Make sure if it is if for you it is coming as default version as one, it won't work. You need default version two only. Okay. Uh, let me just tell you. So see, this is also done. So it is updated now, and I can say WSL and say dash dash, and I can say status, and now see it is uh, the latest version is being installed and uh, with your current machine configuration please enable virtual machine platform okay so this is something which is uh, which i'll do later on and here i what i need to do is now i can just say say suppose for example say suppose for you it is coming as default version one in that case what you need to do is you you need to write a command called as wsl say hyphen hyphen say set and then dash default dash version and then you have to change it to one or maybe two you can say if it is one make sure it is on two so you will run this command and it will do the job okay so this is the thing that you need to remember so this way you will be able to do it and you can check the later uh, versions of it so this is how you will work with wsl okay so now i'm gonna close this off and once the file is downloaded here, you can see Docker desktop is downloaded. I can just double click and open up this installer here. And um, it will ask the permission to install. So this is it opening up. So it may take some time, guys. So I can just add the shortcut to the desktop. I'll say OK. And uh, it may take some time. And uh, this is how it gets installed usually. Okay, guys, so once this is also installed, you need to again restart your system to make sure it runs properly. It is a very necessary step. So two restarts are required once you when you enable that feature for WSL and another one is when you install Docker. So now I'm going to close and then again the restart. I'll just going to click onto this and I'll meet you again. So he, hey, guys, here we are back again after restarting our system after we have installed docker desktop if this window is coming while you have you don't have to do anything if this window automatically comes which you can see here right down right now this window 
If this window comes automatically, that means we have installed Docker successfully into our system. If this is not working for you, if this doesn't come again for you, then I will give the link of this website in the description below. And here is the here in this website, this is a basically Microsoft website where they have given the fix for this. So step by step, they have given all the information of how you can uh, fix this if it doesn't work for you. It might be possible that your version of WSL might be older. So that's why it is not working. You have not updated it. Maybe it might be like that. So this might be an issue later on that can happen if that Docker doesn't open up automatically into your system after restarting. But usually it should happen. If not, then this link will be given already in the description below. You can click onto this link and come onto this website and just follow these steps one by one. You just not have to do nothing here. You just have to just click onto this copy button here. Once it gets copied, you need to open up CMD and write that paste that command here and it will do the job for you. I'm not going to execute this right now because for my system, it is working absolutely fine. But if for your system, if it doesn't work, then you have to execute it. Okay, so line by line, you just have to execute all the follow all these steps. So first you will enable Windows subsystem for Linux. Uh, we have already done this before with the help of that uh, uh, turn on Windows feature and all. If you don't like that or if you have not done that, you can just do it from command prompt using this command basically which is available for you here. Then in the second step, they have given check requirements for running WSL2. You have not might check the requirement, the, the web page that I have I've already shown you before for the requirements of WSL for your uh, Windows 11 to run. Then maybe your virtual machine feature is not enabled. So you can enable that also. So you can follow all these steps and you can easily run your Docker into your system. This is how we install Docker into our system. Now let's start with this Docker and let's get a peek behind of what exactly, how exactly it, it is gonna work. Okay, so let us click on to this accept here. And there we go. It will open up this Docker desktop. Now I need to sign in. So I'll just click on to I have already have an account because you have already created the account. I hope so you have also created here. I'll just click on to sign in. It will take us to a Google Chrome web page and from there it will allow us to um, basically do the sign up for me. It's some uh, unexpected application error came. I'll just reload it and check if it works or not. It, it if it is not working i'll just as of for now maybe continue without the signing up but uh, i'll not do any survey here i'll skip survey here and you can see that this is how our uh, windows looks like in docker when we first start okay so this this is the place where you can just start the container from and all your containers will be shown up here okay you can just uh, open up uh, this command prompt or powershell windows from where you can now just write docker commands let us run one or two docker commands and check if it is working or not so i can just save my first command as docker version and uh, this as soon as i press enter you can see that it is show it is showing me that the docker desktop version is 4.28 which is one of the latest versions right now which we have downloaded as of for now and this is working fine here if i want i if i want to get the images what all images I have, I can just click on to Docker. I can just write here Docker images and it will give me the image, whatever images we have. Right now, we don't have any image into our desktop. And for that reason, right now it is looking like this. But let's say if you want, uh, you can you can just uh, search for a particular image if you want, you want to load from. So you can just write here Docker and you can say search and you can just search for a particular image whatever kind of image you want for example here we want my sql image so i'm gonna write here my sql and i'll just click on to enter this will automatically search from different places and it will show me you can see this and i'll just uh, make this screen a little bit wider so you will understand it in a much more better way here uh, you can see that uh, now it is showing me in depth the very first one that you can see here my SQL it has been it has fetched it from internet and uh, it has it is detecting this uh, image I can load this image if I want or the first one is the most popular image that came up with the 
number of stars here these are number of the stars and everything is fine this is an authenticated uh, um, image docker container image that you can use so these are the different images that is coming up you can use it for your own uh, purpose it depends upon what you want to do it do with it and this is how well this is how our docker is going to work now in future videos we are going to more create videos on this and i'll definitely create a video for linux installation also very soon uh, using virtualbox and uh, we will see it, it again guys well i'm going to close this off though but here you can see this is how we can install docker into our windows 11 system i hope so that you have understood this very well if you have any problem any doubts you can ask us in the comment section below i'll provide all the important required links in the description below for all the three websites that i shown you for the docker installation for the support page and for the system requirement page i'll give the link in the description below also i if you have any problem you can just contact us in the comment section below and i'm gonna clear all your doubts and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel also guys and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates well that's all for this video guys thank you so much this is ashank david i'm gonna sign off now i'll see you in the next one